Hi, my name is Ricky Wynn, and I'm a senior application engineer at Hawker Systems. And today we're diving into a, a new property to add to your composer arrows, inlaid text. So in previous versions of SOLIDWORKS Composer, if we want to provide some information to arrows, it'd usually be with 2D text, right? It'd be under author, and then we'd add in our 2D text. Now in 2020, we can add text directly inside of our linear arrows. So let's take a look at how it's done. So in this assembly, I want to use an arrow to point to where my clutch assembly is. I've done an exploded view, so it'd be nice to point out where it is in my larger assembly. So here I have my exploded view. I can use the digger, or we can use an arrow. So let's try out an arrow in this scenario. I'll pop over to my author tab and then go here directly into arrow. Hover over to where my clutch is, and then create an arrow. All right, I'll click Escape, just so I want to only add in one arrow. And you'll notice on the bottom left-hand pane, I'm going to see the properties for my arrow. I can adjust things like opacity. I can also adjust the head shape, head width, head length, the width of the arrow, as well as the length of the arrow. If I were to scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll still now see a new section called Show Inlaid Text. If I enable it here, I can scroll down, and by default, it, the type that it uses the, the text, it's going to be the length. So if I pull the drop-down menu, I can easily change that to Custom. Now, if I scroll down on the bottom, there will be a field where I can put in any information that I want. In this case, I'm just going to indicate that this is my clutch assembly. In addition, I can also modify the color of the text as well. I'll select my view and then update the view. So in addition to having the text in there, you imagine if I had a text out here right by the arrow, if I were to then hide it, I'd have to hide the text as well as make sure I hide the arrow, right? It's just two things instead of, in this case, it's just one. So now if I go from my marketing clean over to my arrow view, and then directly straight into my clutch bill materials. So in today's video, we covered a new property we can add to our linear arrows. With this, I can now combine both text and arrow into one collaborative actor. Thanks for watching.